In this video, we dive into the eight ways to support someone struggling with substance abuse. Substance abuse is a pervasive issue that reverberates through our society, affecting individuals and their families in profound ways. It's not a solitary issue. It's a family issue, a community issue, a societal issue. According to the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, millions of people are affected by substance abuse each year. These are not just numbers. Each one represents a person, a life, a story. Each one symbolizes someone's brother, sister, parent, or friend. The ripple effects of substance abuse are far-reaching. It can lead to health problems, both physical and mental, straining relationships, disrupting education, and even leading to job loss. The impact is not just on the individual either. Family members and friends are often caught in the crossfire, their lives disrupted, their emotions in turmoil as they grapple with the realities of their loved one's struggle. But it's not all doom and gloom. There is hope. There are ways to help. There are methods to support those struggling with substance abuse. And that's what we're here to discuss today. We're here to explore the ways we can make a difference, the ways we can extend a helping hand, the ways we can support those who are in the throes of substance abuse. Substance abuse is a serious issue and it's one that we, as a society, need to address. It's not something we can sweep under the rug or ignore. It's something that requires understanding, compassion, and action. And that's why we're here. That's why we're having this discussion. Because understanding the gravity of the situation, it becomes imperative to learn how we can support those grappling with substance abuse. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. One of the first steps to support is to enhance our emotional intelligence. So what is emotional intelligence? Well, it's the ability to understand, use and manage our own emotions in positive ways. It allows us to empathize with others, overcome challenges and diffuse conflict. When dealing with individuals struggling with substance abuse, emotional intelligence plays a crucial role. It can help us recognize the emotional states that may trigger substance use in our loved ones and respond in ways that foster healthier behaviors. Research supports this too. A study published in the Journal of Addiction Research and Therapy highlights how developing emotional intelligence can lead to better outcomes in addiction treatment. It equips us to handle stressful situations which are often triggers for substance use in a more productive way. Emotional intelligence also encourages empathy, a quality that can help build trust and open communication. It's about understanding the emotions and experiences of the person struggling with addiction without judgment or criticism. Emotional intelligence thus is a vital tool in our arsenal. Another key aspect is learning to set boundaries. This isn't about shutting someone out or attempting to control their actions. Rather, it's about defining what is acceptable behavior and what isn't. Setting boundaries is essential for maintaining your own mental and emotional well-being, while also communicating to the individual that their actions have consequences. Imagine a fence around a garden, protecting it from unwanted intruders. That's what boundaries are. They protect your peace and mental health while also providing a clear message to the person struggling with substance abuse. How do we set boundaries effectively? It's about being clear, consistent, and compassionate. Clearly state your expectations and the consequences if those are not met. Consistency is key, as it helps in reinforcing these boundaries. Compassion, however, is the most crucial element. Remember, your goal is not to punish, but to support the person in their journey towards recovery. This process might be challenging and it's okay to seek help from professionals or support groups to guide you in setting these boundaries. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Setting firm but compassionate boundaries can help both you and the person struggling. Remember, seeking help is not a sign of weakness. It's a courageous step that acknowledges the complexity of substance abuse and the need for expert guidance. Professional assistance is invaluable in this journey, providing structured support and evidence-based strategies to overcome addiction. Why is it necessary? Substance abuse often goes hand in hand with other mental health issues. Professionals can identify these underlying conditions and treat them alongside addiction, vastly improving the chances of recovery. So what resources are available? Therapists and counselors are trained to help individuals manage cravings and replace unhealthy habits with positive ones. Support groups, both in person and online, offer a space to share experiences, learn from others, and draw strength from a community who understands the struggle. Pharmacological treatments can also be part of the solution. Medications can help manage withdrawal symptoms, reduce cravings and restore normal brain function. And let's not forget the importance of family and friends. Their support, understanding and encouragement can be a powerful motivator in the recovery process. 
Help is out there and it can make a world of difference. Let's delve into understanding comorbidity. This term may sound complex but it's crucial in the context of substance abuse. Comorbidity refers to the simultaneous presence of two or more diseases or disorders in a person. So when we talk about substance abuse, often it's not an isolated problem. There might be other mental health issues at play such as anxiety or depression. Research has shown that comorbidity is common among those struggling with substance abuse. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, about half of the people who experience a mental illness will also experience a substance use disorder at some point in their lives, and vice versa. This is significant because the presence of comorbidity can complicate the recovery process. It's like fighting a war on two fronts. Addressing these co-occurring disorders requires a comprehensive approach that treats both the substance abuse and the mental health disorder. This is where understanding comorbidity becomes so crucial. It allows us to see the complete picture and provide the right kind of support, be it therapy, medication, or other interventions. Comorbidity is a complex issue, but understanding it can lead to more effective support. Encouraging positive changes is another effective approach. This is where the power of immediate rewards comes into play. You see, when we're trying to help someone navigate their way through the process of recovery, it's crucial to applaud their small victories. It's in human nature to respond positively to praise and reward, and this can be a key motivator for someone trying to overcome substance abuse. Now you might be wondering, what's the science behind this? Well, research has shown that rewarding positive behavior can lead to an increase in that behavior. This principle, known as positive reinforcement, is rooted in behavioral psychology. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Applied Behavior Analysis found that positive reinforcement was effective in reducing drug use among individuals with substance use disorders. The immediate rewards we're talking about here don't have to be grand gestures. They can be as simple as acknowledging the person's effort, expressing appreciation for their progress, or spending quality time together. The goal is to make the individual feel valued and supported, which can boost their confidence and motivation to continue on their path to recovery. It's also important to note that these rewards should be given immediately after the individual exhibits the positive behavior. This is because the closer the reward is to the action, the stronger the association will be in the person's mind. This immediate association can then fuel the desire to repeat the positive action, thereby reinforcing the new, healthier behavior. However, remember that each person is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. So, it's essential to tailor these rewards to the individual's preferences and needs. This personal touch can make the reward more meaningful and effective. Remember, the journey to recovery is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's filled with ups and downs, triumphs and setbacks. But each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory worth celebrating. And that's where immediate rewards for positive changes can play a pivotal role. A little encouragement can go a long way in this journey. So, let's not underestimate the power of positive reinforcement in helping someone overcome substance abuse. After all, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and each step deserves its due recognition and reward. Recovery is a journey, and it's important to be prepared for potential relapses. Just like a traveler who stumbles on a rocky path, those on the road to recovery may also experience setbacks. Relapses can occur for a variety of reasons. Stress, triggers tied to addiction, or even the overconfidence that comes with initial success can lead to a return of old habits. However, it's crucial to remember that relapses are not indicative of failure. Rather, they're part and parcel of the recovery journey providing valuable lessons and insights into the unique challenges one faces. When a relapse occurs, it's time to reassess and re-strategize, not to lose hope. Effective handling of relapses involves a return to the support structures that have been put in place. This could mean reaching out to a trusted mentor, attending a support group meeting, or seeking professional guidance. It's about dusting off and marching on, stronger and wiser from the experience. So, while we strive to prevent relapses, we must also embrace them as opportunities for growth when they do happen. Remember, a relapse is not a failure, but a part of the journey. In severe cases, additional measures might be necessary. When the struggle with addiction escalates to a point where the individual's safety is jeopardized, it's time to consider other options. Legal assistance may come into play, serving as a protective measure. In some circumstances, civil commitment laws might be invoked. These laws allow for compulsory treatment for substance abuse, even if the person struggling with addiction is resistant to it. 
The essence of these laws is not to punish or control but rather to protect and help. They are enacted when it's evident that the individual cannot make safe decisions for themselves due to the severity of their addiction. It's a tough call to make but sometimes it's the only viable option left to ensure the well-being of the person in question. In such cases it's crucial to prioritize the well-being and safety of the individual. Supporting someone struggling with substance abuse is a challenging yet vital task. We've explored eight significant ways to provide this support, each one underpinned by scientific research and evidence. We've learned about the importance of emotional intelligence and its role in understanding and managing our emotions and those of others. We've discussed the necessity of setting boundaries to maintain a healthy relationship while supporting a loved one through their recovery. Seeking professional help is critical, as it equips us with the tools and resources to better assist those in need. We've also delved into the concept of comorbidity, understanding that substance abuse often coexists with other mental health conditions. Providing immediate rewards for positive changes encourages continued progress on the path to recovery. We've acknowledged that relapses may occur. It's crucial to prepare for them and understand they're not a sign of failure but a part of the recovery process. In severe cases we've noted the potential need for legal assistance or civil commitment laws to ensure the safety and well-being of the individual. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you're struggling to quit porn addiction, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.